What's going on, everyone? Happy Saturday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Saturday edition of the Pandemic Update for Saturday, April 27th. 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do a daily pandemic update on COVID and other viruses that could be a health threat to you. Yesterday, we did one dedicated to H5N1. Today, it's going to be a mixture of COVID and a bunch of other stuff. We do have some new data from the CDC. There are several news stories that I want to uh, show you, things that I've tweeted on Twitter mainly. And, of course, we're going to take a look at some of our daily data as well. So, if you're new, subscribe to the channel down below. Want to help keep other people safe? Share this with anyone you know. And, of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you got a comment, leave a comment down below. Alrighty, today I went up to a um, garden center, or stopped at a garden center, I should say. We stopped at a garden center. And I thought I would share this with you first. One of the reasons why we're late, because this garden center wasn't close by. It was about 45 minutes away. And take a look at this. I went to the indoor por portion, which is where you have to pay when you're buying your gardening stuff. And check this out. My Aeronet, which I don't have here sitting with me, but my Aeronet had a reading of 493. I took it out of my pocket. The first reading was like 490-something. I said, what? Waited you know, waited for it to give the next refresh. It refreshed again. It came up 493. Now, some people were asking on Twitter about did they have the um, the doors, were the doors open? Yes, the doors were open. I was a good ways away. They also had some Christmas stuff back there. I don't know why there was Christmas stuff out in April, but is what it is. Then they had a lot of garden sculptures and all that type stuff, but inside that building, they had the... Um, very good air quality, 493. If you find any places that have good air quality, let me know down below. We also have a thread somewhere on my site, if I call, recall correctly, where you can leave an air quality reading if you find a good place. This place was on southbound Route 309 in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. All right, moving on to this now. We have to take a look at a COVID cases in Michigan. COVID cases in Michigan are dropping. However, deaths are, they went up a little bit. So let me explain. Last Tuesday, April 23rd, this was updated, and Michigan reported 854 confirmed and probable COVID-19 cases for the week, which was down 20% from the previous week where they reported 1,066 cases. However, they did report 23 additional deaths for the week ending Tuesday, a 44% jump from the 16 reported on April 2nd. Sometimes deaths will jump around from week to week. The number of confirmed COVID-19 positive hospital patients in Michigan fell to 147. That's down 27% from the 186 reported earlier in the week. And experts say that state reported cases are likely a vast undercount, as we all know. These at-home tests right here, they don't get included in very many states. So, continuing on now, I did take a poll yesterday. Easy poll question. Do you still believe we are in a pandemic? And I posted it rather late last night. My fault, when I post a, a poll question late at night, it doesn't get as many votes. Sometimes if you retweet it the next morning, maybe get some more traction. It only got 505 votes. That's okay. I saw what I wanted to see, and you can see here, it's still updating. It's 506 votes now. 95.8% say yes. Only 4.2% say no. One person says, I wish we weren't. Bleep. And now we're probably in at least two. I think they're referring to H5N1. I won't call it a pandemic yet. It may be among animals. It's not for humans yet, but who knows what's going to happen. And there's a couple other comments here. All right. Several things I wanted to show you via Twitter or things that I tweeted. Let's just go to uh, my Twitter profile. This is the easiest way to do it. So Jay Wyland, you've heard me mention his account before. He had a new forecast model update yesterday. And take a look at this. It's not as harsh as the previous update. We can actually click on the previous update. Here was the previous update that said, eh, it's going to start rising a little bit. 
Now backtracking, here's the new update. It's not going to rise as much. And that's a very good thing. And there's been some people that have been saying some of these new sublineages of offshoots of JN.1 or new COVID sublineages would not lead to as big of a rise. That is a good thing. We'll take a look at that new CDC data shortly. Colorado reports its first outbreak of H5N1 bird flu at a dairy farm, raising the U.S. total to 34. Apologies for the background noise. Neighbors, dogs around, and nothing you can do about that. But there's a lot more stuff here. Update. Another cat has tested positive for H5N1 bird flu at a dairy farm in New Mexico. So far, at least seven cats have been infected in the current outbreak. All of them have died. So, wow. Seven cats tested positive. All of them died. That's 100%. Woo. That's, that's, wow, that's not good. Wisconsin Department of Health confirms the case of measles in Dane County. And in West Virginia, remember we talked about how there was a measles case? Well, now they say more than 125 people in 30 West Virginia counties exposed to measles. So that is concerning, and hopefully it does not lead to more cases. And I'm pretty sure there was something else that I wanted to share on here. Ah, uh, yes. Mich Michigan, no, not Michigan. I believe it was Indiana. Here it is. Indiana, we did Michigan already. Indiana Dashboard adds 31 COVID deaths and 983 more cases of coronavirus. So uh, there you go. That's over 50 deaths in just two states. And as you know, these are not necessarily bigger. I mean, they're decent sized states, but we have many states which are much bigger. So there you go. Yes, COVID deaths are still happening. Long COVID is still happening, and COVID is indeed still a pandemic. Alrighty, that's all I have for you today via news and Twitter. Taking a look at the allergy map nationally, you can see there's still high levels of allergies in the Northeast, and that's going to continue. It's actually probably going to increase in the East because not really expecting much in the way of rain, say, south of the Pennsylvania Turnpike, down into the Mid-Atlantic region over the next several days. North of there, you will find some showers up in New England. That may help you a little bit, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 80s, maybe even some 90s are coming to the Northeast. Couple that with dry conditions, perfect weather for pollen to really increase. And speaking of weather, I think I have it up here. Yes, I want to show this to you. Not that in particular, but yes, today is another serious tornado day for portions of Texas, through portions of Oklahoma, Kansas, extreme southeast Nebraska, Iowa again, and portions of Missouri. Please heed all weather warnings in these areas. We already have seen tornadoes reported today. Yesterday, take a look at the reports. Uh, unfiltered reports, 106. Now, some of these have been counted twice, but I can tell you this much. There were probably at least over 70 tornadoes yesterday, and some towns got flattened. Take yesterday as an example because there have already been tornadoes reported today. You can see here, watches are up now. Take it seriously. If you go under a tornado warning, get to your safe place immediately. That's right. I need to keep you safe from weather aspects as well, and there is definitely a huge tornado threat in that area today. Not to mention wind and hail and flash flooding is a risk as well. So please take that seriously. If you don't take anything else I say seriously, at least take that seriously. Take a look at air qualities. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of yellow east of that boundary. You can see in the east, and that's going to continue to the east. I think the Mid-Atlantic, the I-95 corridor, you're going to see uh, some poor air qualities for at least several days because the hot and humid weather, I mean, yes, we haven't started May yet. It's coming. It's going to be warm very early. All right, moving on. Oh, by the way, the west coast, just your usual hot spots and really not as many hot spots as we have been seeing. Philly yesterday had 744 EMS incidents. That's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Live looking at Montgomery County. We are seeing respiratory emergency and a couple of other calls. We can also take a look here at Chester County. Live looking, we're seeing some calls. Wish I could show you a CAD for Center County right now because there is a big concert going on up there. It's actually three days. There's one last night, one tomorrow, or one tonight and one tomorrow. Luke Combs, I believe it is, country music. I'm not the biggest country music expert, but I do know I've been looking at the maps and traffic cameras up there. Insanity. It's causing huge crowds. Very interesting to see what wastewater is going to do because people have come from all over the state just to go to that. So it's a big deal. I'll be monitoring the PA wastewater sites. 
Yes, another event. Luckily, it's outdoors. And yes, I do know that um, the eclipse did not cause as big of a wave as it could have. But who knows? Maybe it went undetected. Remember, there's a lot of counties in the United States that just do not have wastewater sites that were in the path of totality. So who knows what actually happened. Taking a look this week at Walgreens, national positivity trend was 13%. That remained flat. We won't go any further with that because we do have a lot of CDC data to take a look at. And this is one I do need to refresh. And taking a look at what's going on here with wastewater, we're just going to quickly go at this because we will do our wastewater bonanza tomorrow. And look at this. I'm not seeing anywhere that's moderate. Everywhere's low now. Wow. This is fantastic. So low or minimal wastewater or undetected wastewater in these gray sites that are not reporting nationwide. Let's take a look at hospital capacity, and we're not going to go too much into this because we do have other data to take a look at. United States, 75.3% of all patient beds are being used. COVID-19, 0.8% of that. Influenza, 0.4%. ICU usage is at a flat 70%, even 70%, 0.8% of that is for COVID-19, and 0.5% is for influenza. Again, we're not going to go on to any other states today because we got quite a bit of data to take a look at. Take a look at this. Back in April 27th of 2022, it is estimated that during 2000-2018, measles vaccines prevented 23.2 million deaths, but delays in routine vaccinations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic in Ukraine, Ethiopia, and Somalia, and Afghanistan had led to a nearly 80% worldwide rise in measles in 2022. Fast forward to today. And, hey, we're still seeing measles cases on the increase in the United States. Or they're still occurring. And who knows, it could lead to more cases, especially with all these exposures going around. All right, hospital admissions in the past week. This is some great news. Though, I do understand not every hospital is testing for COVID. But, hey, it's dropping. COVID-19 hospital admissions the past week. 5,615. That's down 14.4%. And you can see here, we're back to one of these CDC specials where they just paint green all over the place. Yes, there's a few uh, orange counties. White Pine, Nevada is orange at this time. And there's a few others sprinkled in between. Moving on, the national positivity rate. I know this index doesn't really mean that much. It's 3%. It's down by 0.4%. You can look at epidemic status now for COVID. And you can see here, it is growing now once again in Wisconsin. But that's the only state that it's growing. Everywhere else is stable, uncertain, likely declining or decline. Then we come down here to influenza. And I do want to bring something to your attention. It's declining in most states. And it's likely to decline in many states. But we also have some stable or uncertain states. And interestingly enough, one of those is Texas, where, as you know, there is a wastewater site or two. I know of at least one where uh, influence A at this time is rising. So that's something interesting that we'll have to keep an eye on going forward. All right. Drum roll, please. Time now for this week's COVID variant update and I gotta say, it really has changed from the last update. Remember when JM.1 was in the lead? No longer the case. A KP.2, which is a sublineage of COVID, I don't know if that's offshoot of JN.1. Someone let me know down below. Someone put in the comments. I'm, I'm terrible at those things, uh, figuring where it actually originated from. I'm better if I just read this off to you. So KP.2, which did not exist on the last update, is now at 24.9%. JN.1 is now at 22%. JN1.7 is at 13.7%. JN 1.13.1 is at 8.8%. KP 1.1 is at 7.5%. JN 1.16 is at 6.9%. JN 1.8.1 is at 5.3%. KQ.1, I believe that's another new one, is at 3.6%. JN 1.11.1 is at 3.4%. And JN 1.18 is at 2.5%. Thus, why all these different percents is why JN.1 had such a huge drop. And of course, KP.2 had a huge grand entrance. It's one of the biggest entrances to a variant that we have seen in some time. But as you know, take a look at this. We can go back several updates here. CDC uh, just decided to add it in, even though it's been rising for 
apparently multiple weeks and as you know this only updates every other week and I do say this all these different regions I think only one of them updated so this data may not even be all that reliable all right drum roll please I have to update this week's flu update take a look at that it has dropped and North Dakota is at moderate flu levels low in Nebraska and everywhere else is low or minimal a lot of green showing up here that's a good thing again we'll have to keep an eye on texas down the line with what's going on with h5n1 who knows it's it's something that we have we're going to be keeping an eye on probably right into the start of summer it's going to be something that's on the radar because even the who is concerned about it at this time right now it's mostly it's mainly animals we haven't heard of any more human cases yet let's hope it stays that way in the united states hospitalization so let's hope it stays that way all around the world but we'll have to see what happens hospitalizations for covid in new jersey 191 today six people on a ventilator 30 poor people have been discharged in the icu 24 at this time new york state 456 new cases and hospitalizations they're not moving that much right now yes overall they're still dropping but that has slowed significantly but hey a drop is a drop 449 people in the hospital in new york state 45 people in the icu taking a look at what's going on in los angeles california we can see here hospitalizations have dropped deaths have really dropped now this is really good to see let me refresh this because that is still saying 4-2 okay that's the most recent update i guess the cases here yeah they've gone up ever so slightly and the testing positivity rate has gone up ever so slightly as well wastewater just a slight rise emergency department visits continues to drop slightly california we can see here covid 19 hospital admissions they're down by 14.3 percent 679 that's down by 113 that's really good covid deaths they are down as well the positivity rate went up by 0.4 percent to 2.4 percent for covid influenza positivity rate up slightly deaths up uh never 0.1 percent and hospital admissions they're down it's a uh, 150 already folks that does it for today's pandemic update. We will have another one tomorrow where we will do strictly wastewater. There may be a new story or two added in, but for the most part, tomorrow is going to be wastewater. Uh, I will try and do some research in advance of some places where influenza may be on the rise, and I'll make sure I have a note for myself to add where that is tomorrow. And that's it. I will see you all again next time. But until then, got to do a few things. Thumbs up if you like this. Let's try for 100 likes today. The more likes we get, the more this uh, moves in the algorithm. Proof of that was yesterday's video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Maybe you liked what you saw. Maybe you want to see this daily or just become a subscriber. Which is great because it keeps you safe and informed. And if you have anything to say on anything you saw today or you just want to say something, comment down below. And of course, most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I will see you all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Saturday evening. Have a great night.